from a lunatic who harassed his neighbors to no end. Pull this on me, how to shot you, bro. What the f am I supposed to do, dog? 60 years old. I wish you a horrible death. To an uncontrollable freak who had the audacity to disrespect the cops. My property is being intruded on and I'm getting ordered to go inside? Go ahead, toss me on the f ground. Go ahead. You're hitting my head against the wall. No, I'm not. Yes! Why? You just did! Here are the times when evil neighbors get caught in the act. Starting with one of the most hostile people ever, who openly fired at his neighbors. Sorry, I had to do this. On the 9th of July 2022, officers responded to a 911 call from a distressed woman alleging that her neighbor had opened fire on her and her boyfriend as they approached their residence. When the cops arrived at the scene, they did not know that they were about to deal with one of the worst neighbors of all time. Okay. They shot at us from the back. Okay. Look at this. For some reason, the suspects seemed to be ready for what was coming. Miss Harvick, come over here, show me your hands, keep your hands up. Walk towards me. Walk towards me. Keep walking, keep your hands up. Sit down on your knees. Sit down on your knees. Sit down on your knees. Do it then. Put your hands behind your back. Do what? Hands behind your back. Ow. Let's go, come on. Sorry, I had to do this. 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 Sorry, I had No, are you? Are you hurt, sir? Oh, no. At this point, it was becoming clear that this crazy neighbor decided to end the lives of his neighbors just because he disliked them. So let's do our job, okay? And we'll, we'll get you double oh, handcuffs. That way they're not, that way not too tight on you, okay? <laughs> but I did, I did. Okay, I can do hold no on. more. Hold it, sir. People f***ing long enough. When they arrived at the police station, one of the victims began to narrate the details of the incident. It was here that the terrifying details of the incident began to unfold. I almost turned back to go at them, to tackle them down and take them away. So Carlos and I, tried, tried to... I tried to stop Carlos and that's when he came towards our wall and started at us. As I was on the floor, Carlos was on the floor trying to get to me. I was trying to get inside my home. So, um, Carlos was first, trying to tackle him? No, he... Carlos was behind the wall. He started at us, and when Carlos tried to go towards him, he was already multiple times on his floor. And after and he shot Carlos, he went to you? When, yes, he came towards me at the doorway. I was in between the door, both the back screen door and the back door. He came at me and started at me and telling me you like that and then when we were going in the house he, he hit Carlos with the back of the he tried to start trying to attack us Erica and Cody were telling him However, even more horrifying was the fact that the suspect showed no remorse at all for the crime that he had just committed. We're just doing our job, okay? We're just, it's just precaution, okay? I'm <laughs> Can you just go ahead and put your back and then just we'll slide you? Huh? Oh, yeah. Right there. Oh. 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 Let me put my leg in there first. Okay. Go ahead. I didn't mean to do that. 
do that, then I bet you pissed me off. You need you need medical attention? You're all good? Medical? I medical need attention? A beer? A beer? Uh -huh. Yeah? No, I can't get you a beer, man. You ain't bad lucky. These people, uh, she's on PTSD. PTSD, that means you, you don't want to work, so you just say you got PTSD. I worked all my life, you know? Yes, sir. And then people like that piss me off when they, when they try to f with me. I mean, I worked all my life. Yeah. So, today, so when they came back and they were, when they were walking across, yeah. they start, she they starts walk right through my yeah. backyard all the time. Okay. They don't walk through the front. No. So was no. this in the front yard when they were walking through or the backyard? No, the backyard. They were in the backyard. Where, and so were you out there on the little picnic table? Uh, yeah, I got a little picnic table back there and I, I like to sit. I got a grill. And, you know, I enjoy life. You know, I take good care of my place. Yeah. Look at my lawn. Oh, absolutely. I, I noticed that when I went out there. You have a nice flag put up and you have your lawns all cut. Yeah, and I'm, a I'm a veteran, man. I serve my And these people piss me off. When they, they never done nothing like that, but yet they want to take it out on me. All right, uh, James, the reason we want to talk to you is about the stuff that happened out there, okay? Know, that's but terrible. Eventually, he began to tell his own side of the story. It was here that the cops realized that he was even crazier than he looked. These people, her boyfriend, uh, he's a pretty big guy, you know, and he's already more or less threatened me a couple of times because he... You know, he's a lot bigger than him, I guess. So anyway, all of a sudden, um, they, they were gone, and I was sitting outside. I was drinking a few beers, and I am afraid of him and her too. So I did have a gun outside. You know, I, I, I'm, I've been in the army. Mm -hmm. I have a right to bear arms. Absolutely. And I'm afraid that they're gonna have to, they get a chance they can hurt me. So I was just sitting there drinking a beer, and when they walked by, she started yelling again, and I said, shut, you know, shut up. And then he started coming towards me. So I reached over there, and I grabbed it. And it happened so fast, I don't remember what happened. I know I, I, I shot him. I, I, I hope I didn't kill him, but I, I, I shot him. And he took off running, I shot him again, and then she was running. I may have shot at her too, I don't know. It just happened real quick. I've been pissed off at these people for like a year now. I hope I didn't hurt him too bad. In the end, he was charged with first degree attempt to commit a felony, tampering with evidence, and conspiracy to commit tampering with evidence. Next up is the case of the cold-hearted man who was after a neighbor who he didn't get along with. I hate the guy, I want him to on the 29th of September 2023, Michigan police officers responded to a distress call about a man who had beaten his neighbor so hard that it left him unconscious. When the officers approached the suspect, they were eventually shocked to find out how insanely cold-hearted he actually was. You say you know why I'm already here. Mm -hmm. So what started this tonight? Good question. Uh, neighbor is always making noise over next to my house. I'm tired of it. We don't get along. Okay. It's been going on for, well, since I moved in here. Okay. And it's not going to go away. I'm hoping in my heart that I outlive him. Okay. But as far as tonight, what 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 made you go over there and I would say he's always doing things to annoy me, which 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 will go on forever. I mean, I moved in here, he was already here, him and his wife. We've had property line disputes and he, he just likes to be right up in my business I feel like you know to me okay. so if I was gonna t 
tell a judge, <laughs> if I have to go in front of a judge, <clears throat> he has 18 acres, he's always right in my face, that's why I put up a fence. Fortunately, his neighbor had survived the attack, but as the cop interrogated Miller further, he began to reveal very disturbing details about his initial intentions. Agitating me. I know, you know, how this goes. You probably, it's a property dispute. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> when I go, I have prostate cancer. When okay. I go, guess who's going to go with me? <laughs> guess who's going to go with me? I'm going to die cancer anyway. Okay. I, I'm just putting my rubber band on. So I'm not trying to put words in your mouth, but is that where some of this is coming from tonight? Mm -hmm. So you've yeah. got the prostate cancer and you figured mm -hmm. I'm going to go over and put an end to this tonight. And you mm -hmm. went over there. Not and... yet. Not yet. I, I would like him to stop. Stay away from me. Okay. If he does not stay away from me, we're both going to go up there. Okay. And is that, and are you, so are you him, threatening him? him? Uh, I can't really. I mean, I don't know how I do. So here's the deal. So like this line right here, okay? He owns this, you own this, right up to the, right up like as tight as water, right? Yes. So he has, he pays taxes on this, right? And you pay taxes on this, right? Yes. So he has, he can come right up and cut every blade of grass right up to your, right up to your line. He can make as much noise, he can do whatever. There's no noise ordinance. It's nothing. He can do whatever he wants on his property, okay? Can I? So, yeah, you can too. You're, can as long I as you're on a, your can property. I, can I put up a stereo and, and play rap music? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Just drive him nuts? If you want to be one of those guys I don't and then deal to. with it, you know? But that's how I feel. How many times did you hit him? 25, 30 times, maybe? No. Probably five or six. Like, you're not even supposed to hit your neighbor once. Okay. Okay. Look, I hate the guy. I want him to die. Okay. So were you? And I'm trying was, to. Was your attempt? Was your attempt tonight to? Him? No. I just want him to stop. He. I know he's screwing with me. Eventually, he started to come clean about the hatred he had for his neighbor and how it had driven him to go to take extreme measures in dealing with him. More shocking was the fact that he would have done it again if given the opportunity. We basically hate each other. Okay. He wants me to die. I know he does. I want him to die. Um, but okay. I can't do it. So, so as far as... This. So, how can I so with, here we, Legally, how can I here one, You can't. <laughs> other than outlive him. You can't. Okay? I hate that man. So here's the deal. So... What you're telling me is tonight you were in the house, he's over there cutting wood, you got irritated. Yes. You walked over there, you grabbed a hold of him, and you yes. you punched him multiple times. Yes. Was he fighting back or was he trying to get away from you? He was trying to get away from me. Okay. You have to say everything legal, I understand. No, I'm just, I'm trying to get us what actually happened. That's what, that's what I'm here for, okay? Well, it's your job. Yep. I get it. Okay. So, Greg, at this point right now, what I'm going to do is I want you to turn around and put your hands behind your back for me. I want you to interlace your fingers. Interlace your fingers like you're praying. I will. No, interlace your fingers like you're praying. Oh, well, well um, you like the door. Sometimes I think if I take him with me. What's that? I have prostate cancer. Do you? Yeah, if I take him, him, yeah. who's, what are you going to do? What? Why are you going to take him? Oh, because I'm going to die anyway. Okay. Yeah, and so take him. Yeah, that's what I wanted him to know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, and actually, after you yep. let me Walks go. Walk a little bit farther. <laughs> okay, right there. After you let me go, now I'm really mad. Okay. Um, so I might just go ahead and take him. Next time I see you, I'll probably be in a coffin. And so will he. Which I'm planning on. In the end, Miller was charged with assault with intent to If you thought that was crazy, wait until you hear about this dangerous and delusional neighbor who was a threat on the streets. If you'd have pulled this on me, I'd have shot you, bro. What the fuck am I supposed to do, dog? 60 years old. Come Stay on. away from me! Piece of shit! I wish you a horrible death! On the 11th of September 2022, officers were dispatched to a trespassing. The suspect had pointed a 
to his neighbor and her dog when they were passing by. Upon arrival, they were met with an erratic individual. He pointed a at you? Yeah. I, when I turned down the road right there, I seen him. He was a black handgun. Pointed a pellet gun at somebody? Uh, I ain't pointing a pellet gun at nobody yet. Where your pellet? Where is that? Where your pellet gun at? I got it put up. Well. Right back there in my stuff. Where your stuff? Right back there where everything is. You know they you can't stay in the shed right here, don't you? I got a kennel made out of that. A who? I, I, I already painted everything, making it look nice and everything. And this little hole right here. What are you out here cussing and screaming about? She's doing that, bro. No, I, I heard you screaming, bro, when okay, I pulled okay, up. Okay, it's me. Always me, bro. No, I heard you screaming when I pulled me, up. Bro. What's going what on? What y'all arresting me for, bro? The what? What y'all arresting me? I'm talking to you right now. I might arrest you. I'm oh, just trying G? to talk to you. For real, G? Yeah, I'm trying to talk to you. I'm, tell me what's going on, man. Same old, look at my stuff. Same old, same old. Yeah. Same old, same so old. What you out here screaming about, bro? Because that goddamn whore won't leave me alone, man. So that you out here screaming and you, you can't she be. Does. That goddamn whore calls well, you, got, you, got, you, got pellet, you got a pellet out here? Where is that? Uh, uh, you ain't getting my pellet gun out here. You ain't been pointing thing. at nobody. If you point a pellet gun at somebody, you're going to jail. Single, I got to keep rats with because they taking my dog. They're my goddamn dog. So what they want me to just give up all my Things took a darker turn once they arrested him for pointing a pellet at his neighbor. That's going to get you. What well, is going to get you right here? So you're going to take that from me too? Turn around. I just paid $100 for it. Turn around. Why? You're going to jail. For what? For pulling a damn pellet. Pointing at somebody, and you out here screaming the and rats, making, bro. you out here screaming, making a racket. You going to jail? Ain't Turn done that, bro. Turn around. Come on, my dogs is right there, G. Turn around. Let me do my dogs first. What you gonna do with your dogs? I'm gonna do something with them. I'm gonna find somebody. You got somebody? somebody to take care you ain't got nobody to take care of? No, I don't, G. I ain't got nobody to take care of my dogs, man. You know what I mean? I don't, bro. I ain't no lie to you. I ain't well, lie to you, bro. Ain't no sense, Jay. Why? I understand, G, but I don't have nobody taking it. You can't even be, be like up this. here. You can't be up here. You okay, trespassing this. They don't I, I want got, you here. I understand that, G. That's why I've been staying over but here. But you got your man. dog tied up in the shade. Because that's the only place I got for him with the weather being but like But you it don't was. got this place for him because this ain't, okay. you can't, you're not supposed okay, to be G, here. Okay, G, that's no problem, G. But let me get my dogs out of there, G. Let me get me, let me get my dogs, man. That's two to seven. Well, who seven can you get to two. get your dog? I don't know, but I'm going to have to tie them up over here or something. You got to get somebody to get them. Huh? You can't pull this shit on nobody. I ain't pulled it on nobody, G. I fucking was shooting rat rats is everywhere, bro. They everywhere, dog. That ain't that's something I just bought. Man, it somebody gonna get you. This is gonna get you. What is gonna get you? Well, uh, G, I understand. If you'd have pulled this shit on me, I'd have shot you, bro. Okay, I understand that. But goddamn, if you'd have pulled it on her, and had a gun. She probably would have shot the shit out you too. I understand that, dog. But I didn't pull it on her, dog. She's trying to get me locked up like that, dog. Please don't let it go long like that, bro. I would not do that. I would not do that. Man, you got to get the hell from up here, dog. Huh? You got to go. What? What? what, what well, well, you got to get your dog. Or Can I get my dog? Uh, who is this person? Who? Who are these people right here, j This people Despite getting caught red-handed, the man still thought he was too good to be arrested. Clearly, he was wrong. I never do you wrong like that standing right here, G. Man, what what make you what makes you do that, man? Cause your mother I'm tired of them thinking I'm a pussy boy. You hear me? I I, I ain't no pussy boy. Man, I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll take them to heaven with me. I gotta get fucking if I gotta be charged with that type. Not good with it. Cause I'm not going back to prison anyway. That's that's fine with me. That Debbie got rid of me then, right? Man, I need to give me a fight. Boy, you tripping today, car? What you on, man? You, you, what, 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 what got you so hot today, JY? Cause you on one right now, bro. What's, what's, what's got you so mad? I'm tired of running over me, G. I'm tired of running over me, dog. I'm tired of it, dog. Look where I'm sleeping. The way I'm living. I had a place over there. They took that. Charged me with a, 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 a teenager, a blunt rattler. You feel me? What the? What am I supposed to do, dog? 60 years old. Where am I going? So we got that to play with the rats, because the rats is keeping us up all night. 
Mug, big ass rat suit. That's why my dog jumped up on top of that bed while I go, she don't want to sleep out of the river. I wish you'd stay away from me. Come on. Tell her to stay away from me, man. Hey, hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, don't get my dog, man. Me truck, bro. Don't let her get my dog. Turn around. Stop. Don't let her get my fucking dog. Hey, take her to jail. Take him to jail from me, bro. Okay. You cuff Stay me. away from me. Piece of shit. Appreciate you. Stay away from me. I'm telling you. I wish you a horrible death. Like any maniac, the man still continued to talk badly about his neighbors. You're a piece of shit. You know that? She can't have my dog, man. I tell you what, y'all ain't never one y'all said nothing, but y'all ain't gonna let her have my dog, man. Jay, what? I'm not giving her no dog. Nah, She's man, I call every patrol and tell them that your dog's up here. At least if you got somebody else you want to look after. You're a worthless whore. I'm gonna tell you about y'all's man pay the problem while I'm in jail. You know what man pay the whore? In the end, he was charged with aggravated assault with a weapon and disorderly intoxication in public. Moving on to the vindicative woman who used cat litter to spite her neighbors. What are we doing this for? I'm just getting your information. For so what? It's, it's no, I didn't. I didn't do anything. Okay. My dog, stop. I didn't stop do fighting. anything. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. What am I going Sit to do for? Bro. Stop. I'm Sit crazy. down. Right, On the 1st of December 2022, police were called to a neighborhood where a woman was caught dumping cat litter on her neighbor's car. Upon arrival, the woman denied all accusations, even with concrete proof. Yes, ma'am. Inside your car yesterday. Why is she looking at my car? She's like, that's that. inside my car. No, it wasn't. Like, I'm tired of them. Huh? It's always something. Uh, gotcha. Always something. What, what started today? Did you come The out trash and, on my car. And, and, and you confronted them about it? or? No, I walk up here. I'm like, man, I'm tired of y'all throwing trash on my car. Like, what is the problem? What is the issue with y'all? What's the issue y'all got with me? Oh, I don't like that y'all do this. I don't like that you do this. And y'all, you do this in your house. And you tricking da 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 mm -hmm. oh, Whatever I do, I pay my f***ing bills. I mind my None of, business. None of their business. I'm with you. That's what the personal issue is. Okay. So now they feel some type of way because I have people at my house, whatever time, even though I pay my own bills, mm -hmm. right? They want to throw the trash on my car. I park right here on the side right here sometimes to bring up my groceries. Makes sense, right? Suspect was growing annoyed with the investigation, which made her look quite guilty. What are we doing this for? I'm just getting your information. For it's, what? A, it's a disturbance. We have to come out and, and see what's going on, find out both sides of the story. There's not, nothing like, I don't want to do none of this. I don't want to do none of this. I don't want to do any of it. But it's so childish. It's well, I agree, but neighbors. as part of the investigation right There's now. No so investigation. You have to. There's no investigation. There is. There's no investigation going on. There there absolutely is. So what's your what's your first name? Like I'm tired of it. Look at me. I'm fighting fighting. It's not even a issue. They're making it an issue. Three Delta Five One Central. Your ID's out of Florida, right? No, it's in Florida. One out of Florida by name. Forty two. Parent insurance. I told her I was gonna call the police. You shit on my fucking car. Last. Thing. I'm gonna read you your. Just gotta read you these. Read you this, okay? What is that? Your Miranda rights. For what? Because we gotta ask these questions involving the. For in what? Am I going to jail? Not. No. We're. we're so what are you reading my Miranda rights for? So that way I can you question talk, you, please? okay? Miranda has nothing to do with getting arrested. It has everything to do with me questioning, talking to you to find out what happened, okay? 
So, you have the right to remain silent and refuse to answer. For what? Any... This is what? For what? Can you please let him. Can you let me? Can you for please let me finish? For? Like I said, like I said. You don't read my Miranda rights any other time. Just to question you about the investigation, okay? <laughs> no, it's not. Y'all are lying. What do you want to talk to us, see, do you want to talk to us or not? My house. Do you want to talk to me or not? Because the stupid ass neighbors want to get into it. Me talk to for what? Okay, now he wants uh, to do my Miranda for, rights. For, for, I don't. Like I have said before. We need to ask you questions for the investigation. Are you going to let me read this? What is it for? You're, my, you're, I got to read you your Miranda rights. For what? I've. <laughs> what part of the investigation is this for? I've told. I got to question you about what happened. See? So I got to read you these Miranda so rights. Come so are you going to listen or not? Are you going to move? Sure. For what? I've explained it. All right. I don't know. He said um, he just wants to read the rights to me and all this. Go ahead. Kind of stuff. I don't know for what. I don't know what. She was pretending that she had done nothing wrong, but it was just too late. Which part of it did you not understand? None of it. So you're not willing to talk to us? About what? It's a simple yes or no. Are you willing to talk to us? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I have a little video, honey. What the? Because you came up to me. For what? Me, I'm getting arrested. For what? Drop a cigarette. Right now, I'm getting My dog. No, I didn't. I didn't do anything. My dog. Stop. I didn't Stop do fighting. anything. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Come to the house. Hurry up. Come to the house. Hurry up. Come to the house. Turn that off. No, 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 I didn't do anything! I didn't do anything, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay, 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 I'm not gonna... I'm gonna work with y'all, y'all don't have to do this! I'm... Are you teasing the vehicle? Yes, my dog is in yeah, the middle of the floor. Can you put her in there, please? Can you get the, can you get the girl couple purse. on the statement, please? And I'll lock your door yeah. for you, okay? And we we'll talk to her again. Can you purse? No, you got, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, can you park it back there, please, 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 please? Sure, you're walking this way with me. Let's for go. what? For what? For what? For what? Jail, that's what? For what? Criminal mischief, resisting arrest. I know, no, I didn't resist. I you 100% resist. No, no, I'm sorry, I didn't resist. I didn't resist, I didn't resist, I didn't resist. I didn't resist. I didn't. <laughs> My keys are right there. Please put her inside. <laughs> I didn't resist. I was trying Offer to figure out what's you know. going on. <laughs> what do I do? Well, you'll have a bond. You can bond out in the morning. In the morning? Yeah, four. In the night. morning? Yeah. Why do I have to stay the whole night? Uh, well, if you have a thousand dollars, maybe more. <laughs> I, was, I did it to the business, please. I did it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I did it for this. Yep. Okay, for okay. what? The woman chose to make the situation even more complicated by attempting to cry her way out of jail. Oh, please. please sit down. I, I want to talk to you, and please it's not fair. Please sit down. Go straight back. I have you. You're not at all. I didn't do nothing. Stay right there. No, I didn't do nothing for what? What am I going Sit to jail down. for, bro? Stop! I'm Sit down. Stop! I'm praying you don't have to do that. <coughs> Can you talk to me? They're so tight, please. I didn't do nothing. Stop. What part of sit down because do you I not got understand? A piece. This is why you're getting a resisting no, charge. No, no, no. Uh, yes, why? it is. Why? I tried to talk to you. You know he's being nasty for nothing. You bought a resisting charge. How? When we tried to detain you, placed the cuffs on you, you kept fighting us. I was not fighting. Y'all didn't have so to do like away that. From, so pulling away from us, that's not fighting? No, I didn't know what's going on. We told you we were, we were putting you in cuffs and you kept pulling away from us. So that's the definition because of resisting. Because I could have turned around and talked. Hey, the time for talking was over. Y'all Check your cuffs. Don't stand up. Don't stand up. Don't. Uh, Stop. I'm not standing up. I'm moving. They're so tight. Stop. They're so tight. Do you want me to fix them? Stop moving. Y'all are being nasty for nothing. Uh, let go of me like Stop. that. I'm fine. Well, let go. You're pushing me down. I was sitting 
down. Get off Stop. my stomach. Get off my stomach. Get off Stop. my stomach. Get off my stomach. Ow, ow, ow. I don't, you don't have to do this. I'm fine. Stop. You don't have to do this. Then you I need can to stop. sit down. Obviously not, because we're here now, aren't we? I can sit down. I can sit down on the curb, I swear. Here. I can sit on the curb. It's not even five. So what am I going to jail for? Resisting arrest, criminal mischief. What is... That's vandalism. So why do I have to wait a whole day? No. I said, if you have a thousand dollars, you won't have don't to. Don't move. What is it? Don't move. Just look listening. forward. Look forward. And look let him wall. fix your cuffs. What did you say? Stop. Oh, yeah, tight, tight, tight. Look forward. But if you have a thousand dollars, you can bond out as soon as you get to the jail. In the end, she was taken to jail and was ordered to pay one thousand dollars for throwing cat litter on her neighbor's vehicle. In the next case, things took a bizarre turn when a psychotic man confronted the cops with something he had been doing behind closed doors. I'm actually surprised that you guys are here for this. Um, um, I was waiting for you guys to come pick me up. I'm very embarrassed. Okay. But I had a drone mm -hmm. and I actually flew it in the neighbor's yard. My only fear is that I go down there and I speak to the detective and not with legal representation, mm -hmm. and then I end up staying there. On the 23rd of June, 2023, police officers were called to investigate a creepy neighbor who was accused of using drones to peep inside a woman's bathroom. The police arrived at the scene with no idea who they were going to face. How are you doing? The work calls worried about Yeah, I, uh, I already spoke to the owner. Uh, they were worried about you for something to I called the owner, I called the uh, uh, um, the second in charge. Uh, yeah, they, they said that you had called. They were more concerned because apparently you never call out. You're always there and they were just, out. the way you were saying sorry, they were just very concerned about you for whatever reason. I'm not sure why, but. Well, I'm actually surprised that you guys are here for this. Um, um, I was waiting for you guys to come pick me up for something that happened earlier? Yeah. Okay. Have you talked to anybody about that? What do you mean? Like detective-wise or anything? Do no. You, do you still have to, are you still registered? No, I no. mean, that, that my prior incident, that's all That's all done. It's okay. almost 25 years okay. ago. Okay, all right. all right. This is a new issue. Okay, okay. Which, um, I was uh, contacted by the family last night at 10.30. Okay. okay. It's basically invasion of privacy. Okay. Um, very uh, ashamed about this. Um, very embarrassed. Okay. But I had a drone mm -hmm. and I actually flew it in the neighbor's yard and which I thought that that was what, what we're here for right now. Yes. The suspect was easily detained because of the statements he made. However, the drama didn't end there. No weapons, nothing on you, right? No. Just got to patch you on quick, okay? Okay. Just your wallet? Yeah. All right. You can even keep that on you. Just walk over to my car. You're just being detained right now just because of the statements you made to us. And we're still trying to figure out what's going on, okay? Okay. So, like I said, you're just detained. You're not under arrest. So just have a seat in there, okay? You've been nothing but good with us, and we really appreciate that, okay? Well, just give us give us a few minutes to figure some things out, all right? I know, uh, I know your jobs are hard. And, okay. You know, well, like I said, we, we really appreciate it. I'm actually going to have you just take your uh, wallet out. I didn't go oh. through it, so. I'll put this window down for you. We're, we're, uh, okay. we're going to figure this out. So here's what's going on. There is an investigation, okay? Yeah. Obviously, you're, you're aware of that. You kind of know what's going on with that. Right. We're asking if you would like to get in your own truck, follow us down to the station, speak with the detective that's going to be handling the case. Maybe it's a misunderstanding, maybe it's not. We don't know it's still being investigated. So, as of right now, there's no charges against you, okay? Yeah. So we're not going to take you. If you would like to come down to the station and clear this all up on your own, we would really appreciate that. Yeah. It's completely up to you at this point. Well, if there's no charges against me right now, Correct. I mean, we would like to clear this whole incident up, 
obviously you, you, you came out and you said some things to us. Right. We would like to clear this up. If you would like to come down and speak with the detective that's going to be handling this case and clear the air today, we, we would appreciate that. Like I said, it's com completely up to you. Yeah. My only, <laughs> my only fear is that I go down there and I speak to the detective and not with legal representation, mm -hmm. and then I end up staying there. You know, if, if you'd like to call call an attorney, speak to whoever you need to, and yeah. then come down and speak with them. My, that's... Uh, the owner of my company, I spoke to him this morning. Okay. And uh, he has uh, a lawyer that he okay. uses. And uh, he was going to run the situation by him okay. to get his legal advice. Okay. And then uh, refer me to someone who specializes in okay. this Sort of, uh... The man seemed to think he was too good to be arrested after breaking the law, but thankfully he was wrong. Just come outside for me. You want me to grab my wallet? Yeah, please. Yeah. <laughs> I knew when you guys hung around that. I'm gonna take it out of your pocket, okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, we're gonna do it. I'll copy out the car. We're not gonna do it for you. Oh, all right. Thank you. You've been nothing but good with us. I gotta do that to you. Well, I was gonna, I was gonna ask you if you could, you know, give me a little courtesy. I know we're, it's not protocol, but. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. They, it's all tempted back here. They want to see you. I don't want those to turn up on you. Alright, go ahead and have a seat. Get you right out of here, back to the station, okay? My mother is... Point out, sir. Yes. It could be another nail run, please. I am afraid of retaliation. Yeah. Okay, that's that's not a problem. We can we can make checks of, of the house in the area. Yes, but I, I'm i telling you, I, I, I'm I pretty sure you're out today. Probably the site, if they have afternoon court, we'll be taking you right down there. As long as you're not on probation or parole, you're, you're getting charged with disorderly conduct and you'll you'll be out. I don't, I, I don't see them holding you without pale for a, uh, a misdemeanor charge. But that's as long as you're being truthful about not being on probation or parole. Or... In the end, he was arrested and was given a felony charge. Although the last case was chaotic, it was nothing compared to the next case where a woman was found on the ground after her neighbors did the unthinkable. <laughs> She's got a pulse. Move. Move. She does. Here. Yeah. She's got a pulse. Where's where is the? Where? I don't know. What did here. she store her with? Here. Like a twenty-two or something. Oh my God. Okay. She said she has no a pulse. Lipstick. No lipstick. Yes. She's got pulse. She said she's got pulse. There's no pulse. Well, this has been planning to do this for the longest time, bro. Ever. Oh my God. I got. I got. I got it. Right here, right, right, right here. Right here. Chest, right here. Right, right, right side of chest. Okay. There's no exit. Who over there was here? There's a lot of blood here. Prior to the incident, the victim, a GK Owens, had been beefing with Susan Lawrence for many years. Susan hated that kids played together close to her house and would often call the police on them, even though it was completely in their right to do so. You don't have sole control over the parking lot. There's four people here. Yeah, but those children don't live here. I mean, they literally live across the street on the other side. They don't. They, I, I understand what you're but, telling but, me, and I get it, but you don't have sole power to say, hey, they can't be in this parking lot. But he's asked them to leave. I mean, you can call Charles. I mean... I, I, I'm just telling you, I, it's trespassing. It's the first time's civil. Because it's not, it doesn't become criminal until they're warned. Okay, but he's already told him. No trespassing. He's just trespassing hey, right now. He's trespassing right now. He's trespassing. He came over to come ask us a question. And what, he's been what, asked do you, to, what do you need us to do? What do you want us to do? Tell the girls not to come. They can't come on when I'm on the phone. Okay. I mean, literally, they cannot come on when I'm on the phone. I mean, I can talk to them if I can figure out who they are, but. Yeah. I mean, he needs to get. Because he's screaming all the time, too. Okay. It just needs to get off. This is just an open field. You know, he belongs to 
both property. You know what I'm saying? So if the kids want to play there, whatever. And that's what, that's what I keep telling them. Hey, as long as you don't get in her door, you don't start throwing rocks, don't be cursing at her. It's okay. She can cut the cups whenever she wants. But And, and I was trying to reason with her one day because we were all playing here. You know, the kids, everything jumped. All right, let's go. And she's like, hey, you know what? One day you guys are going to. And I'm like, and that's when I like, whoa. I'm not, I'm getting too much feedback on the phone from the dog. You sure? Know, there's some place where he's not barking and he's, please, I'm getting too much feedback. I can't hear my customers. Dog, tapping. It's a dog. We can't know, stop the dog you, from barking. Yeah, but it's too much feedback. Can you please at least go someplace so, where I'm not getting too much feedback? That's, uh, honey, that's, uh. <laughs> All right, well, you have a good one. Apparently, we can't stay here and have a conversation with shit. That's what I'm saying. So. <laughs> Everyone in the neighborhood was aware that Susan was crazy. However, despite them complaining about her for years, nothing really happened. On the night of the a GK Owens had gone up Susan's door to confront her about an incident where she had threatened to have her son arrested for walking their dog close to her house. He's walking the dog and he's all the way back towards the fence. I'm standing here. I on my phone. She comes outside to go to the car or something. She sees him. Oh. I told you I'm gonna have you arrested. I'm gonna have you arrested today. She has her phone out like she's taking his picture with her. Now he's trying to run back across the street. So I said, I'm sorry, what are you saying to him? And so I go over there. So the baby this is my private property. They can't have a dog over here. I told her, first of all, he's not on your property. He's on this side. You don't own this. And even if he was on the side, you don't own this either. You're renting this just like I rent over here, just like they rent over there. You don't own this. You can't tell them. Technically, if they're not in your personal, personal space, that they can't walk the dog or even throw their football over. Unfortunately, before she could get to talk to Susan, the crazy Karen Owens threw the door, critically wounding her. All, the only thing I heard was her knocking on the door, pretty loud, right? Who, who was knocking I, on the door? Uh, the lady that got right? She was knocking on the other lady's door. Yeah, like, to, to, to see what had went between the two kids, you know? Like, Wait, did between you, her did and the you kids. see anything or... You, you, gotta, you, gotta you, gotta yeah, yeah, you gotta talk to anything. You gotta talk to the kids. You gotta talk to the little kid and the older one. Okay. So but all I heard was knocking and then a that's it. No one, no fighting, but, none of that. But, but tell me what you saw here tonight. I didn't see much. Um, I was, I was. We were playing around. I was on my um, electric scooter. Okay. And then my friend's mom got mad. Oh, my friend's mom got mad. At, the lady because she took something I don't know. your friend's mom yeah is uh which one was your friend's mom my friend's mom was right there the one laying on the ground the one that was laying on the ground okay so that, that was your friend's mom she got mad because the other lady had taken an ipad yes okay so what happened and she that? gave it back the, the the other lady gave it back yes and then so then, my friend's mom, she came and banged on the door, her um, window. Okay. Slide door. That, she banged on that, and then the door. Okay. And then I was on my electric scooter right here, and then, I don't know where I hear the big bang. Okay. I'm just running. Did you actually see anybody with any kind of anything like that, or did you just hear? Okay. What did you see after that? I don't know. I came outside and I saw my first mom on the ground. Okay. Good job. Alrighty. Susan Lawrence was quickly arrested and taken to the police station. In the meanwhile, a GK Owens had unfortunately passed away from her injuries. As of today, Susan is facing up to 30 years for her actions. If that caught your interest, brace yourself for the case of the problematic girlfriend who thought she could lay her hands on her boyfriend without any consequences. Are you kidding me? Have you seen him? He's the one that shoved me. You pieces of shit. Go ask him. Go ask him! On the 28th of August 2022, an off-duty cop encountered an unruly neighbor who was arguing with her boyfriend. Little did he know that his neighbor was one of the most arrogant people ever. 13 years old! All right, come on. He's not gonna take care of her! Well, then you just thought about that before you kicked Are you f kidding me? Have you seen him? Uh, you Have you seen that. him? Let's go now. I'm suing 
Jesus. All right, so let's go ahead. You smacked me in the face, so we're cool with that. Now you got a felony. Stand up. <laughs> They were trying to work That's with you to get your dog out. Of the house. Get on the house. Get on the house. Get on Was it on? Yeah. All right. Yeah, you're recording. The woman was finally brought to the back of a cop car. However, she quickly found a way to escape. Please just let my mom come pick her up. Please, please. I, she won't listen to anybody. Please just let my mom pick, come pick her up. Can you please call my mom? mom? Yeah, my. I will, I'll tell you what, I will Can run it by him. What's your name? He is not no. my boyfriend. What's your name? <laughs> My name. <laughs> That's gonna be up to him when he calls, but I'll give him. No, you don't. Wait, are you giving it to the guy that lives there? No, I'm gonna give it to that deputy that you hit, or that officer that you hit. He's the one that shoved me. That's because you hit him. It's all right here. Look, see this? Yeah, go ahead and watch it. Oh, I've already seen it. Go ahead and it. watch it. Okay. Yeah. A piece of shit that's in there. You pieces of Go ask him! Go ask him! Oh, wow, wow. You guys are great officers. I'm so sorry. You guys are pieces of shit. Sounds good. Thank you. I don't know what happened. Can it open from the inside? By this point, she had threatened to everyone around her before taking things to the next level. Go ahead. You wanted to drive your fing car? You wanted to go ahead and drive your fing car? Yeah. That was Appreciate it, man. Go ahead and so, you were driving her She car wants you to call her mom to come get her dog. Yeah, that's not happening. I know. I was just passing the message. Why is that window locked up for this guy? Yeah, locked. Might have to unlock the window to roll it up. I just locked it. He's the one that drove. He's the one that drove. He drove fucked up. In the end, the woman was charged with battery and battery on a law enforcement officer. Moving on to the entitled neighbor who caused chaos over property lines. You're hitting my head against the wall. No, I'm not. Yes! You just did! On the 9th of July 2023, officers were called to a scene of a domestic dispute between a woman and her neighbor over their property lines. When they arrived at the scene, they had no idea that they were about to deal with one of the most entitled neighbors ever. Me? Yeah, you. I live here. Cool. Can you go inside for me? My home is being intruded upon. Here's okay, I'll be with you in a moment. I just want to separate you guys so there's no further disturbance. From who? You. You're screaming me as I'm walking wife. up. Me and who? You are screaming as I walked up here. My home is being intruded upon and you're telling me to go inside. I'm, I'm asking you May to go I inside. May I request a different officer, please? Sure, you can talk to Officer Valpone here if you don't okay. like the way I'm treating you. Since there were two sides to the dispute, officers thought it wise to talk to her neighbors. It was at that moment they began to understand the neighbors of the person they were dealing with. I think I was here last time. You were. Yeah. Absolutely. What's going on? So you built this metal thing, right? I no, the, 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 the whole the thing. Fence. Okay. She complained because the, 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 the fence supposed to be on her property. Okay. It's said, supposed I, to be on her property? Supposed to be. She say like that. But I don't know. That's why I make my own. She says it's fence. like too far over on her side. Their dogs pee. Shit. All it does is just pour water on it, and it always yeah. goes onto our side. Sure. So my dad put like something there to block it. Like a like this gutter thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So are you guys? This is my wife. Your wife. Okay. I, right. Yeah. So I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. That's all. A lot of this started off with these people being very rude to my wife. I told them, "Hey, get your property off of my property." Oh, so you put the concrete thing here to block yeah. it. Yeah. And then and she blo broke it. And blocked the water. Yeah. And she blocked it today. They built a fence back up onto my property and destroyed it. So I was contacting the city. 
okay. to get it taken care of. Okay. Um, and then this curb is on my property. She's rolled her ankle multiple times. So I said, you know, it's on my property. We're taking it off my property. Yeah, and don't, don't, please do not look at the line because they drew the line. Right. With so me. Like, the so line is based on the property. At this point, her crazy attitude was already beginning to get on the nerves of the officers, but since they were after a peaceful resolution of the dispute, they decided to ignore her. At least for now. Here's the thing. Property line disputes, not a police yeah. matter. I know. We're so not, I that's do not this, why you that's also here. not a police matter. Well, if you just, well, here's the thing, is if you destroy it and it turns out it's their property, then... Well, until right, then, it's not your matter okay, either, then. You shaking your head and have an attitude towards me? I'm trying to figure out what's going on, and you go like this, and uh, 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 talking to me in that way. Right, I think you're, you're jumping adult. ahead. I am a very you. respectful person. Well, then speak in a respectful tone. I am. No, you weren't earlier, and I'm trying to say that. I'm trying to keep this because civil, right? Because the second I got out, I was told to go back inside. Okay, and yes for someone different and now I'm talking to you and you're throwing attitude my way when I'm speaking with your husband And he's explained this you chime in with some snotty remark as we're trying to figure out what's going on, correct? I'm not trying to be snotty. Well, you're acting that way and you're speaking in a snotty well, manner Well, if you've lived here long enough to have to put it put up with this, I'm not trying to be snotty But I'm do, you, not. do you think when we're trying to figure out what's going on no. that making snart comments and speaking in a manner like that helps I, the I'm situation? I'm not trying to. Also at the She's same really time She's really because they told her to go back to when China. You came up and I mean, so she's a little keyed at this moment because, because of this type of stuff, right? When we hold up, Which, we'll all the way I mean, there. I mean, she's not trying to be rude to you guys, but so the heating up of like telling her to go back to China, that's a really messed up thing to say. And someone, someone ends, ends up being arrested. So your decisions is based on my behavior? Oh my God. No. I'm not trying to be that way. She's screaming racist remarks in our neighborhood. No. So, but that was, so I understand if they say go back, okay, right, but two wrongs do not make a right. But we're saying, that's why this officer asked you to go inside, to calm the situation and we begin to speak with you but you chose not to right forgive me for that my property has been intruded on for as long as it has the fact is like i said i have to live with this every day and i am frankly sick of it and for them to tell me to go back to china i'm not even from china but like i said this is the line they drew this is a curb they laid and this well, you as you can problem, clearly right? see crossing yeah, I mean, yeah, the structure yeah, of the home yeah, of mine okay i get that but then why are we destroying this today because like i said if you come Very over big. here this line was not laid by the hoa okay who was it laid by them that ain't gonna be here okay but then you can be that is if it is their property that they built and you destroy it right the oh, pro hold on a second the property line thing is it we don't know so now you're destroying someone else's property. Nope, it's on my property. You're being unreasonable at I this am point. Not. Yes, you I are. am not. Can I finish talking? Yes, sir. Okay. As things unfolded, it started becoming obvious to the cops that she didn't have any justification to be causing a disturbance. Now that the situation started looking like the cops were not going to be on her side, it was only a matter of time before she unleashed the craziness that she had been struggling to keep inside of her. They poured concrete there because you guys were urinating and defecating in your yard. No, nope. that, that is not the case. Okay. That they is put it, not anyways, the case. They put that there, correct? That's what you told me. They put that cement barrier there, correct? What they did, yes. Did. So then that is the cement part is not your property, correct? Correct. You so someone has the right to something. put it on my property. Is it your property though? Do you know for sure? Do you yes, have a legal, I do. Do you have I a legal am document? More than do you have a legal document that says that it's your property? My deed will more than definitely tell you this is the line. Here's the thing. Don't you, you've taken a day. You emailed a day ago, right? These things take time. Just because you decide your whatever goes on and you're gonna destroy this, that's not how adults behave, is it? Neither does a husband, right? Okay, hold on. Hold on. We're talking about an inch or two. Inch or correct? two. No, it's like more than six. Okay. If I go onto your property being your next door neighbor and I go do the exact same well, I'm thing. I'm polite how well with my neighbors. I so am until I'm not. That doesn't make sense to me. Well, what law did I break? So what, that's, that's malicious, malicious mischief. mischief. Malicious. How about they maliciously built something on Which my you have no legal documents property. to. That's what you're missing. What is you're their missing. legal document to build anything okay. on my property? Legally, so, physically, as you can see, attached to my property. There's two ways to resolve this issue today. Ma'am, ma'am, hey. you look at me. There's two ways to resolve this issue today. You calm down, or we may have to take you to jail. Why, what did I do? You committed you, the crime of malicious mischief. There's two ways. You will that. You won't, won't you?
Say that again in front of them. They know this because they, you destroyed their property. How about they maliciously laid it onto how long my is, property? How long has that been there? How long has that Does thing... it matter? Yes, because I have been asking and asking and asking, and they refuse to remove it. Since she kept yelling and acting all crazy with the cops, they began suspecting that she might have had a bit too much to drink, which might explain her crazy behavior. They decided to give her a chance to avoid getting herself into trouble, but whether or not she was going to take that chance was another ball game entirely. How much have you had to drink today? Too. Too much? No. Too much. Because you've had too much to drink today. You're baby. Why is it always me and my drinking? Well, let's see. You're the one destroying stuff. I didn't destroy it. I am it. removing something that is on my property, and it does never, it does not always equate to me, my drinking. I'm going to tell you how it's going to go right now. You are going to go inside. You are not going to cause a disturbance the rest of the night. I'm what going disturbance to, have I caused? Um, screaming racist remarks. Oh, and they so, haven't? I'm not saying they haven't. I'm saying that. Why am I going inside and they're sitting out here? Because they're not the ones screaming at the police in the parking lot. Oh, because they just didn't do it while I'm not, here? They have not done it since I'm here, correct. Two neighbors came outside and said that you were screaming racist, Hispanic, and Mexican-related remarks. I did not, remarks. and I told them to come here and look, and then they went okay. back inside. We're not going to get into specifics. No, and that's Here's what what's going to happen. You're you going to go inside, or you're going to jail. Than what you think it is. So yep. unless if you have it on video, because I didn't say what you think... You go inside or said. you're going to jail. This is your last chance. Do you understand? Please, go inside, please. Okay? I didn't do I anything. I know you Then go inside. Okay? Uh, my property go is being intruded please. on and I'm getting ordered to go inside? Just right now, just right now. Please go inside. Thank you guys. Can I be taken to jail for yelling at them saying, Deal? Thank you guys. Move your... Move your fence. Go inside oh, your house. How about you guys do something about this? How, why am I getting ordered to go inside? My property is being intruded on. No, you're not. You never have. You never have. You never have. You never have. If I go to jail, it's your fault. It's your fault. She steps out. Move your she needs to go inside. Nancy, they, you need to go inside. Why? This is my Because I can hear you screaming. You're causing it's a disturbance. It's my property. No. It's my property. Why are you removing me from my property? I'm not removing you. I'm putting you deeper inside your property. While she was complicating things for everyone, she had no idea that she had now given the cops more than enough reasons to take her to jail. Nancy, if you don't go inside the police. It's your fault. It's your Okay, it's my fault. Please go inside. Please go inside. Let me go! Okay. Sister, just please. No, let me in. No, Eva, Eva. Get me in. I'm going. Come here, you're under arrest. Why? No, no, no. Because I'm going inside. Put your hands on your back. Because I'm going inside. Move, sir. You're under arrest. For what? Because I'm already going guard, inside. Guard, guard. I'm not! Come on! Lawyer. Congratulations, my kids are crying. Yeah, that's that's your, fault. your fault. How is that my fault? You ain't doing about what they you're will. supposed to do. What am I done? What am I doing? Do not kick me. I didn't do not kick, kick me. You stepped on me. You stepped on me. Now go ahead, toss me. Go ahead, toss me on the ground. Go ahead. Me on the f***ing ground. Yeah, rip my f***ing fence while oh, you're you at it. No, you did that. I clearly see your f***ing hand. Yeah, f*** you, yes. I hope you're happy doing nothing. Doing f***ing nothing. Okay, okay. Well, she needs to behave a little better. I'm behaving f*** you. I'm a f***ing adult. Act like one. You f***ing act like one. Well, I'm here. You ain't doing about people encroaching on my property. That's not you my concern. You arrest me. No, of course it's not. That's Nothing is your concern until it is. That absolutely How, is what 100%. How what the f do you guys do? How what do you do? How I was going inside and you still f***ing arrest me? You did not go inside. You began wrestling with your sister. Does she complain about it? It doesn't matter. That's and illegal. You? Oh, is it? It is.
There now you, you two f***ing seriously think about it. My uh, property it. is being intruded on to arrest Do you have anything sharp that's going to stick or poke me? No, I don't. Okay. You yes. are welcome to search. I am going to search you. Can you stop moving? Spread your feet. How much further would you like? That's perfect right there. Can you hold that for me? Thank you. Go ahead and get inside the apartment there. Eventually, she started realizing that she had been messing with the wrong police officers all along. It was at this moment that she began to realize that it might have been better to have listened to them in the first place. All right, I want to let you know that you're under arrest for malicious mischief in the third degree, and I'm still going to investigate whether we're going to arrest you for disorderly conduct, okay? Yep, my home is, like I said, being intruded on. Okay. And this is what you get. Is this your quota? Uh, no. We to don't arrest quotas. somebody just because? Nancy, I'm going to be honest. I would have preferred to just leave and resolve the problem. I wish you, you would have, and I was going inside. I was just trying to have a smoke. I was seriously just trying to have a smoke and you came in into my little corner of where I was going to smoke and you was, arrested me. That is 100% correct. Yeah. So I was going to do what you wanted. Do me a favor and just stop talking. So and not talk. Yeah, of course. That's yep. what all you guys ever want. Fucking stop talking. Fucking stop talking. That's all you guys ever want. Let me know when you're ready. Ready for what? To read your rights to you. You have the right to remain silent. Let me I didn't. Things. I wasn't aware that I had any rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything uh, safe, but I have rights as a what? How my you when have the property right is being intruded on and I get arrested? And have with you while you are being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before questioning if you wish. Can you? Can you can you? decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any <laughs> questions or make any statements. Do you understand those rights? Nope, I do not. Which part did you not understand, or would you like to I do not the whole why, thing? I do not know why I'm arrested for protecting my home. I thought this was a stand your ground state. Before we talk any further, I need to understand that you understand your rights. I do not. Okay. I do not, and I would I would like to ask you to please ask my husband to call in to work for me. Okay. To I can do that. Can you let me read your rights again so you understand them? I don't understand it, because I don't feel like I violated anything other than maybe well, there's destroying a difference between the Corp that wasn't supposed to be there. And that's exactly what you're under arrest for. Well, you know what? That's great. You guys want to arrest people whose homes being intruded on? Kudos. Okay. It's really important that I make sure you understand I your rights. Don't. I don't part? understand. I have lost brain cells. I don't. I tried. I really did. I really wanted to go inside. What's done is done. Let's focus on the future. No, 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 no. I, I know that. I'm, I'm not talking. To you. Why? Because I don't need to hear anything you have to say. Most people would have calmed down by this point when they arrived at a police station, but Nancy was not one of those people. What she had done before now was merely scratching the surface compared to what she was going to do at the police station. I can't. You can put me in class, you can probably put me in a hospital, but I can't! I can't. You gonna put her in cuffs, Hawkinson? Yeah. yeah. Right, just put your hands behind your back. We're gonna put you in cuffs so you don't hurt yourself. <laughs> you would, huh? Put me in cuffs again. Um, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, I'm resisting again, too. You're not resisting. I am not. I never was. Please. I don't have a choice. Please. Put your leg back I in cannot the go to school. They won't give me care. Put your leg back there. At a point, she even went as far as banging her head against the glass while being transferred to another facility due to her behavior. But that wasn't a problem for the cops, who are used to dealing with people like her. Let me see if you have any injuries. Do you have any pain anywhere? Yeah, you're giving me a pain in my ass. Get it off my eyes, will you please? No. Why? Bang me! I would just go to South Kirkland. Fuck! 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 You're not getting the helmet off your head. Well, you're not fitting it properly on my head. Yeah, it's too big. No, you're not fitting it properly on my head. That's against the safety rules. Yeah, that's why we're stops. Oh, I know the safety rules. Okay, we're gonna have another helmet come though. That's smaller. Stop, stop. Let me go. 
Yeah. Stop. Yeah, you're hitting my head against the wall. No, I'm not. Yes, you are! You just did! You just hit my head against the wall. You're wearing a helmet. You're yeah. Fine. Oh, so it doesn't matter? You yeah. Stop well, you're doing it. You're doing it as we speak. What the f off my head! Let the f off my head! Get off my f head. Stop hitting your head. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Get to the no! Let me off! Put me in the f hospital! No! Help! Help! Let go! Help! Let go! Stop. Get out! Help! I can't breathe. breathe. Get off of me! I can't f***ing breathe! Get the f*** off of me! We have medics coming. No, you don't. Please work with I me. begged you. I begged you. I said, please, get off of me. Think about how well this would go. Think about it. It would go a lot better if you listened to what we were trying to tell you. I with the program. Hey, Nancy, I'm yeah. Officer Baker. I haven't been here before. I'm just trying to figure out That's what's going great. on, okay? That's great. Give me my I help you out. I need my Put me in the hospital right now. Can you get it off my eyes? I can try to do that, yeah. Okay? It's all over my face. Okay? I cannot not see. It's it's beyond, like, less than human rights. You can't do that. I want to be able to see. Get me the f out of here. All right, Nancy, my friends with the Bellevue Fire Department are here to check you out. Make sure you're medically okay. I'm so. requesting to have immediate medical attention. <laughs> In the end, she was charged with malicious mischief for destroying her neighbor's property. Next up is all about the psychotic old man who invaded his neighbor's backyard. Who was it? That right there. Old headed Jew. On the 15th of April 2023, Ohio police officers responded to a disturbance complaint involving an elderly man. According to the caller, the man was screaming at people and trespassing into other people's backyards. When the officers arrived at the scene, they were quickly confronted by the crazy man, and it was here that things got interesting. Okay, what's going on today? Who called you? A neighbor. It's what all crime did I commit? Just saying that you're yelling provocative language to people at the I'm park. I'm yelling provocative language. That's what is I that was, a crime? That's what I was told. Well, it depends. If it's causing alarm to people, it is. No, it ain't. Yeah, it is. You're a liar. If you're causing you're alarm, lying. it's you're a You're lying. And if you're yelling threats, it could be a crime. I'm not yelling threats. Well, I never said that. I just said if, yeah, you, were, you, did. if you were yelling threats, it could be a yeah, crime. Yeah, you did. You just said it. No, I said if you were. If I were. Yep. I don't know what you were yelling. That's why I'm here I'm to talk to you. I'm on private property. I have freedom of speech. It's yes, you do. It's called the First Amendment. You do have freedom of speech, but is the moment that you start causing alarm to people? Alarm? What yes. is alarm? What oh, is wait, alarm? Is that a crime? It yeah, is if you're causing alarm to no, people. No, it is not it's a crime. It's called disorderly conduct. You state to me the statutory where I'm causing a crime. I'm committing a crime. When you're causing alarm or annoyance to, or an inconvenience to multiple people, that is a crime. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. No, it is. It's called disorderly conduct. You're a liar. You can't be drunk you're causing somebody. I'm on private property, man. But you still can't be causing annoyance and alarm to somebody. That's man. When you're intoxicated, you I can do you whatever I want on my property. That's not exactly yeah, true. So you're a liar. From okay. Road well, I'm glad you think that. But I think that because it's the truth. So what exactly are you... You want to speak to my lawyer? What exactly are you doing back there? You want to speak to my lawyer? From the get-go, it's clear that something isn't quite right in the elderly man's head. He thinks he has the right to do whatever he wants. However, as he would later learn, that was far from the truth. I just want to, I'm asking you a simple question. I'm getting drunk. I love okay. to be drunk. That, and that's not a crime. There but, you go. But, but are you, you, but, are you but, are, but are you yelling at people in the park? You got your camera on? I do. It's not, illi it's not illegal you. to drink, especially right. when you're on your own property. That's right. As long as you're not operating a motor vehicle. That's right. Amen, brother. So what, what did you want to are bring you about four or five more of them in here and waste our money? Are you yelling at people? You're wasting park? my money right now. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm asking a simple question and you're not giving me any <laughs> answers. Are you yelling at people at the park? I'm yelling at anybody I want to yell at. Why? Because it's my property. I can do whatever I want. What are you yelling? I might be yelling anti-Semitic. 
I might be yelling racial slurs, whatever. Well, you can't do that. You're a liar. You can't be yelling racial slurs. The freedom of speech slurs. gives me the right to do whatever I want. To a certain by, extent, it does. Bye. Adios. Realizing that they wouldn't get any further with the elderly man, the officers decided to get the neighbor's side of the story. It's it's pretty constant. Yeah. I mean, he like, is always, always yelling yeah. at people in the park or something. So you straight through there. Yeah, that's kind of why we got called down here today because he was yelling some. Um, it's like they've got three kids, they've got two. We've all got like there's just like, kids everywhere. And yeah, and he was yelling some pretty you know. Oh, now, yeah, well, they were, it wasn't so much profane as it just was. Usually just, it's super racist. Yeah, very. Yeah. It's it, racist, yeah. ethnicity, religious, and that type. And I think he has, like, I don't think it's a real. Yeah, I mean, variety. he, like, the only, like, the only things he said to us is, like, he doesn't like the, like, new construction Sure, stuff. sure. So yeah. he, like, will say, like, take your money and get out of here. He does burnouts up and down he the street in his old truck. Like, he still, pick up truck. Nice. Yeah, like, he'll <laughs> just, he'll, like, pull up near our house. Or, like, if he, like, he knows our cars. So if he's, like, pulling in around the same time as us, he, like, comes up real far mm -hmm. and, like, tries to scare you yeah, and stuff. Tries to be intimidating yeah. when um, I got you. After discussing what to do, the officers decide to arrest him on charges of disorderly conduct. It was here that the story would go from crazy to absolutely insane. All right, come here. Come here, Jeffrey, turn around. What are you going to do? We're going to take you to jail today. No, well, for Stop. what? Stop. You're for trespassing. For disorderly You're conduct. Trespassing. You're trespassing. You're trespassing. Stop down. You're trespassing. You're trespassing. Stop. Just, you're trespassing. Under arrest, okay? You're trespassing. You're trespassing. You're trespassing. You are trespassing. No, this isn't a gun. You are trespassing. Stop. Stop. You're trespassing. Hold on, let me double stop. check. You're trespassing. You're trespassing. Jeff, stop. You're trespassing. Get off of me. Stop. You're violating my Fourth Amendment right. You're trespassing. Liar. You're trespassing. Watch your hand. In a row. Here's right. You're trespassing. Right. He's going to jail. Yeah. He's going to jail. What am I going to jail for? Jeff, you gotta, Jeff, you gotta sleep this Jeff, up. Jeff, look at me. Hey, you're, hey, hey! You're being, you didn't tell me you're, what I'm you're being detained I'm for. I'm trying to tell you right now. You're what being, am I being detained for? Stop. Stop. Settle Settle right now. Now. You're being arrested. And taken down the I'm being the arrested center illegally for disorderly conduct while intoxicated. Right, I'm on private go. property. I'm, 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 I'm on private property. I'm on private property. I'm on private property. You're liars. You'll give me some of the jail. Get off of me. Get off of me. Stop. Illegally. Illegally. Illegally, you're detaining me. Look at you. Look at you. Okay. You're cursing. You're lying ass pieces of shit. You're lying you ass go. pieces of shit. You're liar. You're liar. You're liar. You're detaining me illegally. You German kraut licker. Piece of shit. You're a communist. Yeah. yeah, tear my arm off, German crowd liquor. Tear my arm off, German crowd liquor. You're a liar. You're a liar. And Holmes wasn't done here as he continued his crazy rant all the way to the police station. You gonna give me a kiss? Oh, yeah. You you detained me off private property. Okay. I didn't arrest you. Who was it? That right there. Bald headed Jew. Bald headed Jew. You arrested me off private property. Come on. Private property. Yes, I will come. I just don't have all day. You're being sued, mother. In the end, he was charged with disorderly conduct while under the influence. Agreed that the last person was an absolute maniac. It was nothing compared to the enraged neighbor who believed she could manipulate the police. So hold on, come talk to me real quick. It's not real quick. 
You have to come inside. So what's going on today? Well, come in and I'll talk to you. What's wrong with talking out here? I want to talk inside. What do you think there, I am, a criminal? Is there anyone inside the house? No, there's nobody in there. See, he's put the hose on me twice for no reason. And I have a restraining order from the Let judge. Me see this. Would you come in, please? So what's going on today? What's going on? He put the hose on me. So start from the beginning. What I happened? I went back on the side to check my air conditioning. I was looking back on my property. I didn't say a word. Then he goes like this and he put the hose on me. I didn't say anything to him. So he just sprayed you with the hose? Twice. Did he say anything to you? He just started spraying for no reason. So he didn't he didn't say anything to you? He just started no, spraying? No, he didn't, yeah. Okay. And he's going to keep doing it. And they're going to keep doing it. So what do I do about it? Nothing. Until I get his stick or something and knock it over his head. Or he gets a stick and knocks it over my head. So we don't want that to happen to either of you. Do he wants, they want, look. I'm by myself and that's why they do it. The old woman claims that her neighbor put the hose on her two times. At this point, the officers have no other option than to believe what she's saying. However, as it would soon turn out, something wasn't right. And then you said he sprayed you with the hose twice. Right. As is that checking, a sort? Well, were, what is it? Hold on. So let me get the story straight. As you were checking your air conditioner on the yes, side of your right, house. Yes, right, right. And then you said she started getting into it with you? She said something. She made a comment. At first, I didn't say anything to anybody, and then she made a comment. He's a low class bad No good. They're terrible people. Okay. Well when is this gonna end? Until something happens? No, no, we're gonna we're gonna figure something out, okay? No, we're not figuring we're going to court. They don't come over and say how you doing, what happened. They don't care about shit. And are they they're animals. No, they're animals. Except for one is not so bad. Okay. No, there are animals here. There are animals. Have any issues with any of the other neighbors? No, not at all. Do you mind showing me where in the backyard they sprayed you? Yeah. And what time did this happen? It just happened like about 15 minutes ago. 15 minutes ago? Yeah, right here. So keep going back there for All right, me. I was here, and then I went to see about the air conditioning, and then I went over there. I told them to get a fence. So you walked along here? Yeah. Okay. And then I went to look in the back just to see about all my bushes and everything. And they said, where are you looking at to go? I didn't say anything. Okay. So you were right here? Yeah, here. And then he took the hose and sprayed it on me. Twice. This way? To me, I was all wet. Okay. And uh, so I where... told him to get a... I, I, first of all, I told him to get a fence. Mm -hmm. That would eliminate that. Okay. They don't do it. Here, just, and just, the keep, door just keep box, talking to me about I know. Here, and let's go back box, here, okay? Let's the go door here. box and, and the door came on my property. Okay, let's go over here. Yeah, let's go back inside the house. Yeah. Here, come on, let's go. Yeah, now she's putting hey, on come on, let's, quit, let's quit put on an axe. Let's go back over here. Put on back inside axe. your house. The same old crap. She goes, what are you looking? Is this normal? Is this normal for people to act like this? So let's go back inside and then we'll talk about it, okay? Did you change your clothes mm -hmm. after you got sprayed or what happened with what? that? Did you change I'm sick your clothes? Now. No, no, did you change your clothes after you got sprayed with water? No. No? Why? So, uh, why? You want to say? What? No, no, what what area did they spray you? The whole on? thing and then he did it again the second time. And you said it was about 15 minutes ago? Yeah, about 15. I can't uh, put it. But what do you think of that? What do you think of that? So, the only thing I'm noticing is your clothes looks see, dry, and I didn't see any water on the floor by your air conditioner. I'm telling you, he did it. So, I'm not saying that it didn't happen. Come on in. Realizing that something isn't adding up here, the officers decide to question the neighbors. What's going on today? Well, I'm just hanging out, having a nice day out in the backyard. and Okay. The neighbor was like standing there just staring and the dogs were barking so we asked mm -hmm. like can we help you and she was just and she stood there leaning on the fence and she was like leaning this over our fence mm -hmm. i said i'm sorry ma'am can i help you and she goes i'm not talking to you you f and points at her mm -hmm. and we kept the little kid out there and yeah. the other kids like drawing with chalk on the back porch and we're like 
You would know when she just started cursing and yelling. Uh, she had did that to us previously, and mm-hmm. she told me, she's like, let's just go inside. And I was like, but dude, it's, she just came up and started talking trash. Yeah. Like, it's not worth it. It's not, yeah, it's, my kids. it's like, not yes. worth it. So we went inside. So this time she started swearing and calling her a bunch of foul names in mm-hmm. front of the kids. And I was like, dude, no, absolutely not. You're leaning over our fence. We're Kept trying to be like, leave, like, like, can we help you? There's yeah. nothing to see back there. There's no view. There's a mm-hmm. big tree right there. Like, you're yeah. staring at us. Like, if you think we're so trashy, like, I have, uh, after that, I just quit. Um, I came out. We were going to go for a cruise out in the Mesa and uh, I was putting the baby's car seat in. And I have a video of the next interaction I had with her. Mm-hmm. And she comes out and she's like, F- garbage trash you spotted dog just swearing at you, you guys yeah her. she just attacked she's us. just you're okay. just fucking trash you you're a fucking c- and she's a whore yes, i have a video you have video can we yeah. see that if i you have don't a mind? video she's too a video where she's she saying i am threatening you and this was from today yes. yeah from like okay. 20 minutes ago after showing video evidence of the woman verbally assaulting them they quickly realized that she had been lying all along it was here that they decided to go and confront her You're gonna receive some paper in the mail, okay? Yes. And you're gonna have to go to court. Yeah, we can go to court, them. right? Yes. All right. Yeah. So, I will. You'll be going to court, okay? So make now sure. Now it's against tell the judge. them. They're the defendants, right? So that's for the judge. Yeah, to we're gonna figure it out at the court. The civil. civil when court. is it gonna stop with them? Until somebody gets hurt? I don't know, but I recommend don't go out there and yell profanities and scream in front of little children, okay? Because that's not proper conduct. You want to know something started with me? He started with me. It doesn't so matter who started. You, you need to be the bigger person. Just come inside. You can call. I us. had to. I had to be spray, and that's I need to okay. get the. I must no, have, we're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and we'll go to court. Okay, that, that's what everybody's happy. We're gonna go to court. Who's gonna be the defendant? You're gonna be the defendant. Yeah. Okay. I'm the defendant. Yes. Why? Because you're out there screaming for Because family. remember we talked about videos of two people versus one and we watch one. Now forget TV. about it then. Go. Okay. Go. Don't okay. say, don't write right. up anything. You're gonna go to court, okay? So don't don't miss court, because if you miss court, you'll get a warrant, okay? But wait a minute, who's the defendant? You are. The water that was sprayed? Yeah. So you you don't have wet clothes, your yard's not wet, there's no evidence of any of that, okay? So but there is evidence of you out there screaming profanities and racial slurs, which you're in public, there's plenty of children out, their children are out, and why, you're just why, the public. Why are something? So that's considered so disorderly wait, conduct. Wait a minute. Why does this have to be like this? Forget because about you it. Did not, because you were yelling at them. I, because they spread it, 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 off me. If that happens again, go inside your house. No, I don't want you to do call. any cases. Forget it. Okay. Don't forget well, it. Just keep your don't miss part, okay? Have a nice day. I'm, I'm, gonna check I'm not going to go. Oh, oh, okay. You get a warrant, so I'd, I'd advise answer yes, that. Why am I the defendant? Why am I the defendant? In the end, the angry Karen was charged with disorderly conduct for her evil and manipulative behaviour.